the mixed martial arts, if I'm successful in the mixed martial arts, if I'm winning fights, if I win championships, then, then people are paying attention to what I'm doing. There's an audience out there. There's, you know, there are people that are ready to hear, you know, they're willing to hear, willing to listen to what you have to say. You know, I feel, you know, I'm not, I'm not a fighter. I'm not in this to, for personal glory. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting being, you know, kind of, it's kind of cool to be recognized, you know, for the people to, rec you know, for people to recognize you. And it's, it's nice to be acknowledged for, you know, your skills, you know, for that, that your achievements. It's nice to be acknowledged for that. Uh, but I'm not in this for the, the glory of it. I'm not in it to be rich, you know, for the attention. I'm not, I, you know, it's, it's hard to say. It's, I just have this, just have this sense of something, this, this, it's like behind, it's behind, uh, it's behind everything. It's a sense that this is what I need to do. I have to do it. I need to do it so my voice will be heard. For some reason, I'm, I just have this idea, you know, and, 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 may, and maybe it's that, you know, delusions of, uh, delusions of what, uh, grandeur, delusions of, uh, I don't know. I have this idea, though, that I need to, I need to be able to make my voice heard. And I can do that through the fighting. I can, I can be heard. So... That's why I fight. That's my motivation. Uh, yeah, just make my voice heard. I'm, I'm uh, consciously, I'm going for it. You know, I want a belt. I want the belt again. I want the championship again. Uh, you know, the UFC championship, because I think it's going to give me a platform from which to speak. You know, it's going to make my voice heard. And uh, you know, there, are, there are a few things I'd like to, I'd like to say. I'd like to be heard. You know. Uh, it's a, you know, being a champion is a way to get a message out. You know, it's not just winning a belt, strutting around, hey, look at me. It's a way to get a message out. You know, and if you have a, I feel that I, I may have some things that might be useful to some people, you know. Might, might have, you know, I have a few things to say. Yeah, you know, there's so many things in this world that, so many things that need to be changed, so many things that are wrong. And it, if you can make your voice heard, you can stand up for these things, you can speak out on these things, and people are going to listen, people are going to hear you, and you can affect change, you can make things happen, you can, you can improve the world, you can make the world a better place. That's my motivation behind fighting. Not self, you know, not self glorification, not fame. Not, not money, women, you know, any of it, you know, it's, it, it, God, what's the best way to say this? I can stand up for these things that I believe in. I can stand up, I can, I can speak out and I will be heard. I can change the world. That's my motivation, I can change the world. <laughs> the power of one, uh, believe in the power of one is a, uh, I guess it's a motto, it's a saying, it's a phrase I've used for, for quite a few years. And what that means, it's, it's not a, you know, it's on my website and everything, I've worn it on shirts. It's not a self-glorifying thing. It's not like, hey, look at me, believe in me, look at all this, you know, it's what it is. It's, it's one person can change the world. And what it means is, and believe in the power of one is believe that one person can change the world and believe in that in yourself. You know, believe that you can, even as a single individual, you can change the world because your, your words and actions resonate out eternal in a sense, you know, through, through you know, it reaches one, you know, it reaches two people, it reaches four, it, it, it just expands out exponentially, you know, and, and we need to take responsibility for that power we have. You know, make sure our actions and our words are worthy and they stand for something. The greatest works are built with the, uh, you know, the smallest uh, materials. I mean, like the Taj Mahal, you know, it didn't just bam. It's it's an, it's an amazing, it's amazing work. The pyramids, amazing, but 
They're put together with little pieces. They're all put together with little pieces. To change the world, it takes little actions, little actions by each individual every day. Those little actions add up to a great work. So it's, uh, it's those little things, and that's, that's another thing. It's hard, for, it's hard for people to think a small, just a small action that they're taking, the small little choice they make during the day is gonna, is gonna you know, make a change in the world, but it can, because if everybody takes that responsibility, takes that small action, you know, all that, add, I mean, it adds up. It's a little brick and a great work, you know, a great work. And what changes would I like to see in the world? Uh, <laughs> well, that's a big question. I'd like for everybody to, uh, you know, get less, everybody's so caught up in themselves and caught up in, uh, you know, what everybody can do for them and, and you know, what, yeah, what the world can do for them, you know. I think it should be, uh, should be opposite, you know. It should be, everybody's focus should be a 180 reverse, you know. What is it that I can do? You know, well, not, not what can you do for me, but what can I do for you? And I think if, if everybody kind of lost, you know, in a sense, lose yourself to gain everything, you know. Quit worrying so much about yourself and you'll have everything to gain, you know. You know, what the world's about is, uh, it's about all of our, you know, we're all family in a sense, you know, we're all brothers and uh, not in a hippie kind of way, you know, it's just what the world's about is your fellow humans, you know, what good would it be? What if you're the only person on the world with, what if you had all the belongings, you know, all the fancy cars, fancy clothes, I mean, all these fancy things we desire that everybody's dedicated their lives to, to gathering, you know, to themselves. What would all that matter if there were no one else around to, to share it with or to show off to, you know? The, the world's about our interactions with our fellow humans and what kind of enjoyment that brings us. You know, some people misdirect it and think they need these fancy things and all these material possessions to, to get that interaction or to, that's not what it's about. But if, if everyone could just switch it though, you know, you know, the, you know, not what can you do for me, what can I do for you, basically. I think the world would be a different place, be a, be a cooler place. Well, when I was younger, I was, you know, even though I kind of, you know, I think I had some understandings of the true nature of things, I think I was still caught up in, uh, in the, what I was taught from, you know, from birth. You know, you're in the womb, you're hearing it, the radio, the television, the, you know, all these, all these ideals, these, these improper ideals, these, uh, these improper ways of living, I feel, you know, these, these, uh, you know, all these, all these things you're taught from, from you know, from, through the media, you know, you're taught these, this is the way to live, this is what you're, if you're a successful human, this is what you do, this is what, you know, you own this, you, you have this job, you make this amount of money, you run with this crowd, you know, and if you do that, you're successful. And I was caught up in all that. You know, a lot of that is, is marketing. It's, it's, uh, it's driven by products. You know, it's product driven, you know, uh, dogma, uh, teaching, you know. It's, and you know, I was caught up in that thinking like, oh, you know, to be successful, I've got to go to college and I've got to, I've got to go to school. I've got to get my diploma. I've got to go get my degree. You know, I've got to get a job. I've got to climb the corporate ladder. I've got to, you know, wear this, these kind of clothes, these kinds of clothes. You know, I'm going to drive this kind of car, you know, so, so this, these type of people will like me. And then if these type of people like me, well, then I'm cool, I'm accepted, I'm a success in life. And we, we forget the things that really matter, you know. And it took, you know, I followed that path for a while, you know, and I, I found success, you know, in that, in that realm. And, you know, I kind of stepped away from all of it, you know. It's, you know, I got rid of all, you know, most of my belongings, got rid of, I have what I need. I have. You know, the things I have are nice. I don't need, uh, you know, I don't need to gather a bunch of, just a bunch of stuff together, you know, a bunch of material possessions. It, it means nothing. Uh, you know, I kind of, in a sense, you know, in a, in a sense, you, you have to lose yourself to find yourself, you know, and, and losing everything, you find the things that really matter. And once again, it, it comes back to your, your fellow humans and your interactions, your, your your truthful, sincere interactions you have with your fellow humans, that's what gives life meaning, in my opinion.